video, we're going to be talking about Pinterest advertising. Pinterest is another source of visibility that you can leverage to amplify anything that you have. And it's a great visibility source. Uh, it's one of my favorite ones besides Facebook and Instagram uh, because it's super powerful. And it's a combination of query-based traffic and contextual targeting, meaning people are going to Pinterest, they're typing in terms, you can target them based on what they typed in, but you also know, um, you know, what, what gender they are, you know, what they're interested in, you know, you know, where they are locationally. So you can use demographic data points and interest-based data points along with query-based data points to make or query searches to make groups of people to target. It's really powerful. So let me tell you a little bit about this Pinterest thing here. So Pinterest, 80% of the users are female, 88% purchase a product that they pin. They spend on average $80 per sale on Shopify, which is the biggest e-commerce platform out there. Uh, it's the fastest growing social network by percentage and it's viral. 80% of pins are repinned and it's also true native advertising in that the ad unit shows up in the social feed just like any other pin. So it's like it's not really sticking out and making noise and like being, you know, aggressive and being an ad. It's it's a really great source of visibility. And if you're scaling beyond whatever source of visibility you're leveraging, maybe you're starting with Facebook, this is a really good one to uh, move to. It's a really good secondary traffic source. So I'm actually currently getting 17 cent clicks on Pinterest, uh, as you can see here. But actually, and we'll go back, um, it's nine cent clicks. Uh, so basically, the reason it's nine cent clicks is because Pinterest says I have 12,000 visits from Pinterest. But what I noticed was that, and by the way, uh, I spent $1,000 and made $25,000. Now, this, this, these statistics that I'm showing you right now um, are coming directly from when I first started running Pinterest. Since then, cost has gone up. Profitability has not you know, been it's still, we're still doing really well, but it's like, this was like when we first started running them. So these are, this is the best you can ever expect to do, by the way, just so you know. So we spent a thousand dollars on ads to make $25,000 in revenue, but actually we made $56,000 in revenue because what happened was as soon as we started running Pinterest ads, our Google organic traffic and our direct traffic to our store exploded. You can see in the time period previously, we had like $226 in direct traffic. If you look to the right hand corner of the screen. And when we started running Pinterest ads, we had 21,000 in Google organic. So basically what happened was when we started running Pinterest ads to our store, people were seeing the ad on Pinterest and then coming back and searching for our brand, putting our brand into Google. So when we started amplifying on Pinterest, our direct traffic and our organic traffic exploded. So there's this halo effect that happens. It seems specifically with Pinterest in a way that's not happening for us with Facebook and Instagram. So let's uh, walk through how to actually get started on Pinterest ads.